Welcome back. Here's part two of our Conray 3000 watts electric conversion, uh, go-kart conversion restoration uh, project. Um, if you haven't seen part one, that will go through all the technical details of the build with, uh, with an enormous amount of content. Um, <clears throat> so if you're interested in learning about the how part, then that would be the first video. This is going to be the fun part where you get to see the performance and whatnot. So after a week of use, here's what we've uh, learned. Uh, we had Harbor Freight wheels, wheelbarrow wheels on the front. Uh, that was a bad choice to save a few bucks. Uh, the front tires were utterly bald and, and thin after a week. Um, actually, the rubber was even thin. And the front bearings uh, blew to smithereens. Um, so obviously, we need real go-kart wheels up front. The 60-tooth sprocket, that's what we had on from the get-go. The top speed was 24 miles an hour, <clears throat> which we'll demonstrate. And that's 99% of calculated uh, in the first video, we noticed we we showed that the top theoretical speed um, was 24.7. Um, it's got great acceleration, mild battery drain, and outstanding range. Probably close. To, we're, we're calculating about 60 miles of range with this battery pack. It's it's crazy. Um, we also put on a 42 sprocket. The top speed on that was 32 miles an hour. There's an onboard video we'll show you. Uh, it was very fast, but uh, the as you may recall in the first video, the calculated top speed was 37, and it never really was able to get to that. Acceleration was poor. Uh, there was heavy battery drain. The motor got really hot. That just tells me there was just not enough torque uh, to, to turn that gear. So I feel like the sweet spot's going to be a 50. Um, in, a, in the prior video, we said that the 52 sprocket, the top speed was 32, which actually was the top speed with the 40. So I'm thinking if we put the 50 in, then we'll actually get the 30, 32, but without the load and still have good acceleration. So here's a picture of the tires. Um, they were just utterly trashed. Uh, my son was riding around the parking lot, and he said they felt like this one wheel was going to come off. And I took a look at it, and I saw that the racer bearing had completely blown out and uh, ground out the uh, the 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 rim there so went to uh, go power sports and keller got uh, some new and some actual high speed bearings and uh, two new tires and uh, rotated the back ones to the front and put the new tires on the back and put the new bearings in and so while these may be harbor freight rims that there's really not anymore they've got go-kart tires on them and they've got go-kart bearings on the the rims so um Note to self, don't use wheelbarrow wheels for a go-kart. All right, getting started. Um, it's just an introductory video on how to get things going. Okay, welcome back. This is the Conray 3000 watt 72 volt uh, electric go-kart conversion project, uh, part two. <clears throat> uh, we've had about a week or so of use of the go-kart and the range has been outstanding. Uh, one of the things I did point out when I first started the video was that the Harbor Freight tires were absolutely not lasting. Uh, if you see right here, we have literally one week's worth of use and they're bald. Now we go one week's worth of use, the go-kart tires, and they look the same, pretty much the same as they did when I first put them on. Other things that were added since the video was a phone holder right in the middle of the steering wheel, which is really really cool gives it that uh, uh, race car feeling having the uh, speedometer app in the uh, in the display there right in the middle of the of the phone or in, in the steering wheel so uh, to, to get this thing going we have to first open up the battery box and if you want to know all the details about the build that was part one you need to watch that first this is the fun part the driving part so we have all of the electronics battery management turn on the breaker and then the battery monitor ma uh, monitor comes to life powers on lock up that again key goes in the ignition you got your headlight switch and we're going to do uh, we're going to do speed runs in low, medium, and high uh, using a GPS speedometer uh, with a max speed counter reset on each lap so that you could see what that is. We have a full charge. That's our frame of reference. We'll be back in a few minutes. Bye-bye. 
Okay, so what we're able to get, and I'll show the video here in a second, uh, top speed and low was 10, uh, top speed and medium was 18, and top speed and high was 24. Okay, here we are uh, yeah, with the uh, 3,000 watts, 72 volts um, electric go-kart conversion. Um, everything's powered up and ready to go. We have this awesome uh, phone mount for his uh, GPS speedometer, which is super, super cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three runs. Um, we're going to reset the maximum speed to zero on each run. It's all set to zero right now. And we will, uh, um, he'll do two laps uh, on, on low, medium, high, and record the maximum speed, and we'll come back and, and report what that is. So let me get him to the starting line here. Go ahead and back up to the... There you go. All right, so go ahead and re your counter's reset. You're in low. Okay? Yeah. So go ahead and uh, do a couple laps uh, in low. All right, well, let's do one lap because that's there's not much too low. All right, so what was our our max speed? About 10. 10 miles an hour, okay. So your USB phone charger cord is dragging outside, so take that out or whatever. Okay, so that was about 10 miles an hour in low. And uh, we'll go ahead and do, uh, do two laps in uh, medium, okay? All right, go for it. Definitely good acceleration. Is that full throttle? Yeah. Okay. That was 18. So, and that was 18? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and reset that. Okay. All right, so we'll do two laps in high. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Go.
uh, about 24. Yep, 24.3. And yep. our max speed with the 62 sprocket as calculated was 24.7. So I'd say that's pretty good. So uh, we'll try a little onboard and see if uh, see if you can do that. Okay. All Be right. back in a sec. Okay, that was pretty good. Now I got to tell you that the the video doesn't really do it justice. Once we do some onboard, you can see it actually is pretty quick. So here's the onboard video of the thirty of uh, uh, the forty two sprocket. We got to thirty two, but it was it was laboring to do so. Okay, this is the forty two sprocket in high. miles an hour. I'm just a big kid at heart, I guess. Okay, so the next test is uh, 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 father and son. It's uh, combined weight about 300 pounds, and it's on board video. So we put the 62th sprocket back on, and we only lost about one mile an hour top speed. So uh, pretty impressive. Okay, so the next test we're going to do, we're going to show that even with a grown adult and my son driving, which the together is about 300 pounds total, um, it still gets up in boogies. All right, I'm gonna sit on the battery box. Oh, I'm gonna sit on the battery box like this and then put my feet on the seat cushion. And you got your counter reset? Yep. Okay, make sure my wallet and phone doesn't disappear and I'm sitting behind him on the battery box. Okay, in high, go for it. still hit a top speed of 24 miles an hour, 24.4, even with a grown adult sitting on the battery box. And me. All right, now we're gonna do this and uh, just turn around and go up, go across the street here. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Can Look I for turn, cars. I turn around. You're gonna go that way. And go on the street next to the curb. Okay.
take us back down to the where we normally start. Drop me off. Whoa! Wow. Yeah, we just hit 30. Wow. We must have had some inertia or something. Okay. Well, okay, so the the fact that we're able to so easily hit maximum speed uh, with this uh, motor tells me that uh, there's still more power available um, on, this in, on this motor, and it's just warm. It's about it. It's just warm. So we've got... Uh, I think if we go with a 50 tooth sprocket here, then we can hit uh, 30, 32, no problem, and it'd still be a normal load for the motor. Okay, well, you want to try and do some burnouts or whatever? In high, go ahead and... Well, there you go. That's pretty good for an electric go kart. Usually you don't actually do things like that. Pretty cool. He can. Yep, he left uh, <laughs> donut marks on the parking lot. So um, I would say this is an amazing performance for a go kart, and we've used the battery meter. I don't know if you can see. You can't really see. About 10% of battery. Well. The battery meter hasn't really even moved from where we started. Um, so, one word I wanted to mention, I, I bought fans to ventilate the battery box, but because this is only drawing a maximum of 45 amps, um, no matter how hard we ride it, <coughs> no matter how hard we drive it, nothing gets hot. The battery management uh, system doesn't get hot, the battery doesn't get hot. Um, I have fans, I'll use them if I need to, but I'm just not seeing it at this time. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. We'll upload it to YouTube. Uh, I had some commentary and some analysis. And uh, uh, the next the part three will be changing to a 50 tooth sprocket. Take care. Have a great day. So in conclusion, I, I again, I still feel like a 50 tooth would be the sweet spot. Um, the 60 has got good torque and good uh, acceleration. You can do donuts, drifts, power slides on dry concrete. Um, I'd like to get to hit that 30 mile an hour mark though with the 50 and uh, work that motor a little bit more. So but other than that, thanks for watching. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Take care.